What's up guys, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. Every so often a jailbreak tweet comes along that, I don't know, just comes with so much hype and so much anticipation that people can't help but to notice. And Convergence is one of those tweaks. It is a lock screen replacement for your iOS device. So it allows you to completely replace the lock screen with a themable interface that has things like uh, quick toggles and of course the camera uh, shortcut, just like that. And these all can be achieved using swipe gestures right there on Convergence's main screen here. You also have widgets. So if you swipe down from the top of the screen, it will show you your list of widgets there. There's a calendar widget. There's an RSS feed widget, and there's also a uh, widget for the current weather. So you see that browser, courtesy of that RSS feed there as well, and that's all accessible within Convergence's lock screen interface. So um, lots to see here with Convergence. Uh, it's a pretty nice design, I have to say. And it comes with four built-in themes and the promise of more themes down the line. Um, so let's check out some of the built-in themes first of all here. You have the charcoal, conceptual, default, which is my favorite, and thin. Let's check out conceptual first of all just to see an example of what a theme may look like. It, those changes are kind of subtle. Uh, with uh, the conceptual theme, it's a little more drastic. You can see the conceptual theme right there. So it's basically just hard angles on the little buttons that indicate where you can swipe from the edges of the screen. Not that huge of a departure from the this, the stock theme, the uh, default theme, uh, but you'll notice some differences when you switch themes. Now, let's talk about background. Background, you can change the blur, you can enable an HTML lock screen, so if you use uh, lock HTML3, you can use that. I don't use that, so I won't be touching on it too much, but it's there if you like that type of stuff. Um, widgets. There are three widgets built in from the get-go. You have the calendar, the RSS widget, the weather widget, and you can also move those around. You can order them if you want to. You can disable them. There's also these little separators here that you can move around if you want to add separation between each widget. Now, as I showed you earlier on the lock screen, if you swipe from left to right, you can access the quick toggles. And these are actually flip switch toggles. So all the toggles that you get normally with flip switch, the framework, will be accessible here. And you can, of course, reorder those. You can hide them if you wanna hide them, rearrange them if you wanna rearrange them in any order that you choose, and as I am doing here, and I've done that. Now there's also album artwork, and you have full screen album artwork if you want that, which is really nice. That's one of my favorite features, actually, of this jailbreak tweak. I'm gonna play some music here, and I'm gonna show you the full screen album art now, and I'm gonna show you those toggles as well. So there's the full screen album art. I think that's just a really nice feature of Convergence, especially if you have, if you have some really cool album artwork. This isn't the best, but I just thought I'd show you that. And here are the toggles. As I showed you earlier, I added additional toggles, so you can now swipe on those if you wanna do that. And directly from the toggle screen, you can access your widgets. And you see the widgets have been ordered in the way that I did. I got rid of the separators. Um, you can go in to the settings if you wanna customize which RSS feeds are included in the RSS widget, et cetera. Now, all these features are great to have, but there's one major gripe that I have with Convergence, and it actually touches or it has to do with Touch ID. If you use Touch ID, there is a noticeable delay uh, with unlocking your device using Touch ID when you have Convergence installed. It's probably one to 1.5 second delay, um, which isn't doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a big difference if you're used to your device unlocking immediately. You will encounter that problem with Convergence if you have a Touch ID device like the iPhone 5S. Um, I showed you some of the advanced options there. I also want to show you notifications here. So I'm going to show you a notification. There is a notification that just came in. And if I tap on that notification, first of all, notice its look. It looks just like the uh, messages app icon. I can get rid of that notification by dismissing it like that. But you can enable themes for notifications. There are custom icons, and these correspond to the theme you have enabled for convergence. So I've enabled custom icons there. I have show dismiss enabled, obviously. And I'm going to also keep the charging indicator enabled, and I'll show you that as well while we're at it. But now you see that notification I have there? It has a different look because it's using the theme that I'm currently using for Convergence, and it's theme that notification indicator. And if I tap that again, I can hit the Dismiss button to dismiss that notification. And I also said I was gonna talk about the charging indicator here, 
there is the charging indicator, which is nice. It gives you a nice battery indication. It's thin. It fits in with the rest of the convergence theme. It doesn't take up your whole device's screen, the lock screen. Uh, so that is a nice little touch there for convergence users. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a very much, a very hyped jailbreak tweak. And I think it lives up to a lot of the hype, but there's that underlying issue with when it comes to speed. If you're using a touch ID device like the iPhone 5S, that is something you must consider. Um, the widgets also aren't that groundbreaking. I mean, they're kind of ho-hum, but anyway, this is the first iteration of Convergence. I think it has a lot of potential. You can find it for $2.50 on City's Mod My iRepo. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.